What I want to do now is take my like button and position it exactly to the bottom of the article element. Now, the way I could do that is with absolute positioning. If I position this guy absolutely to the bottom of the article container, which would be what it's relatively positioned to, and it's just going to sit there real nice. So uh, let me show you exactly how to do that. Uh, first order of business is uh, let me target that iframe that the like button's coming from. So I'm going to start, of course, with my article.fb results to make sure I'm working within the article. And if I look down the way, I have a class called like share. And um, it's an iframe, so just to keep it specific, I'll go iframe dot the name of the class, like share, and here we go. Let's first position this thing. Position absolute. Okay, very good. But now what is it going to be positioned absolutely to? The article.fb results. So let me go up top to where I have that, and I'll set the position on this guy to be relative so that the like button doesn't get positioned relatively to the body element because that's the uh, default relatively positioned element. Um, okay, so now what do I want? I want it to be left zero because that's going to put it right to the left of the border and it's going to get rid of any default uh, padding it may have like I have here. So it's going to get rid of that and it's going to go all the way to the bottom. So that's a bottom zero. Okay bottom zero and when we do that okay you're a little disappointed because your expectation was that it was going to be all the way down at the bottom well what's going on here is that there are actually some hidden styles in this iframe coming into play and um, the way you actually even discover that when things happen unexpectedly is you know with the debug tools you have in your browser um, I'm gonna use the firebug plugin and it has an, uh, an option if you're using it on Firefox to inspect and this is a cool option that I get to kind of hover over elements and see what's going on and when I hover over let's see if I could find the like button somewhere uh, Facebook let's see HTML it's, it's somewhere in here All right, you know what I'll start that there we go maybe I could find where I'm looking for an iframe there we go there's my iframe um, now notice how this thing has some kind of defined width and height and it's not what I want so I need to redefine the width and the height and see if now it's going to act the way I, it should act so width I want it to be a hundred percent because it's gonna be a hundred percent of its parent container which is the uh, article element um, as far as height goes um, well, let's see. I want it to be as high as, um, let me get rid of this, as high as, at the very, very least, this Facebook like button, right? So I'm going to use now the web developer plugin to display ruler. And if I do that, what's the height on this thing? The height's, it says 25. Okay, I'll work with 25. Uh, height, 25 pixels. Okay, now let's see what we get over there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, we're close, but now let's let's get our color on, and this is the the specific color that we wanted. Um, I actually already have that set in my other example. You could use Colorzilla. Actually, why don't we just do it the hard way? Uh, reinforce a point. Now, uh, the color I'm looking for is um, sort of that. Oh, yeah, here it is. I'm, I'm looking for this color right over here. So let me use Colorzilla. I'll target that color, that nice little light blue. Now it's in my uh, board. So um, I'll set it background color. And there it is, just pasting it from what I have. Let's see. Bam. Looking good. Uh, the only thing we want to do now is kind of add a little bit of... Uh, breathing room for this thing, right? So we could do that since I made the line height exactly the size of this picture of this uh, like button. If I just add some padding to this guy, it should add a nice even border of padding. Let's, let's just try four pixels over there. And very nice. So now it has a little bit more breathing room and it looks good. Uh, now here's the bummer. What's up with this? When you look at this band, all of a sudden it's coming all the way beyond 
the actual width of our Facebook, uh, uh, rather our article over here. Well, fortunately there's a real easy way to put the kibosh on that. Um, if you go back up to where we had, you know, we almost used uh, overflow hidden, but we didn't need it. So I said, you know, if I don't need it, I'm not just going to add extra garbage to my code, right? Lean and mean is uh, what you're going for. But if you get rid of overflow, sorry, if you get rid of the comments on overflow and actually implement overflow on the article, guess what? Bam. You get rid of it and now you have a nicely positioned like button. 